Good morning. The past couple of days we've been dealing with some sickness in our house. Micah has had a fever, a little bit of a cough, and he's been really fussy. Micah. What? <laughs> also, Josiah, he's had a fever and he's had a cough too. The ladies have been doing well. Sailor's been doing well. Lacey's been doing well. As for me, I've had an itchy throat, an itchy chest, and slight cough. But one of the things I've been doing that, that I normally do that suppresses the cough and helps with a number of other health benefits is I take apple cider vinegar and water on a daily basis. And then when I have, am around sickness, one of the things that I do is I try to increase my intake of that. And that really helps with suppressing the cough, any sore throats you may have, any inflammation, and a whole number of other benefits come from using apple cider vinegar on a regular basis. And when we have sickness in our house, we typically, we typically stay away from other people to avoid spreading our sickness. We care about others, so we don't want to spread sickness. We want to quarantine ourselves, and hopefully that sickness leaves after it completely is gone after it leaves our family. And but. We tend to have good energy level. We can go around and we, we look like we're doing well until you see us coughing or have some congestion. So we'll still do our play and our work around the farm. And today we're gonna do that. Even though some of us are not feeling well as far as coughing and things, we're gonna see what we can get done and uh, do it in a balanced way without pushing ourselves and suppressing our immune system even more. But let's get to work. Okay, Sailor and Josiah, we need your help today. We're gonna do some cleaning up. We're gonna clean up the recycling area because it is a mess. We're gonna clean up the greenhouse because it is total disarray. We're gonna clean up around your play area. We're just gonna clean up around here. All right, you yes, help sir. me out? Yes, let's, sir. Let's rock and roll. Oh. Okay. One of the major challenges that we face here on our family farm is keeping things organized and tidy. Here recently we instituted inside the house what we call territories. Each person is responsible for a particular area which we call territories in our house. It's similar to what the, uh, the Duggars have, as they call it, jurisdictions. We call ours territories because it's the territory that you are personally responsible for looking after and making sure that it is cleaned up each day. We are currently in the process of ironing out our territories for outside, outside of the house around the farm. And uh, that is why we have some of the messes that we have right now and that we'll be cleaning up today. Let Josiah carry one. Carry him. That way. Good, Josiah. I can't. You can. You do have the strength to do it. Do it. There you go. Now walk with it. Walk with it. There we go. I knew you could do it. Look at there. Look at those muscles. You got it. You got it. Look at there. Well, now if you can help him put it in. Every now and then, we all need a little push to get through some of those things we just feel like we can't do. Because Josiah, he carried that whole crate all the way down and he didn't think he could do it, did you? <laughs> and you did it, right? High five.
Well, we've gotten a couple areas cleaned up already, but I'm gradually starting to feel worse. But this area behind me really needs to get done. So I'm gonna see what we can do to get it done and uh, try my best to pace myself. Here we go. So what Josiah is helping me do, here we have our grow tables. And on our grow tables, we use them for starting some of our plants in the warmer months, so that way we can prep them to go out in the market garden. However, when I put these together, it was kind of a trial to see what would happen, uh, but I didn't put the caps on the block. So what is happening is we are having some unwanted plants that are growing up through the blocks. So I need to put some caps on those blocks. So that way, these unwanted plants here are not dropping their seed pods or their seeds right into my, my seed tray. These grow tables right here, the other day my friend Darth helped me get rid of some of the unwanted plants here. In addition to our normal chores, the things that we do on a day-to-day -day basis of taking care of the animals and doing various things around the farm, we were able to get most of the things done that I set out to do at the beginning of the day. We were able to clean up the area where we have recyclables. We were able to clean up some of the coolers and tubs that we just had laying around. The children were able to clean up their play area. And we were also able to clean up where I have the grow tables. I'm still not feeling that great, so and I think I need to call it a day. So that's why we didn't go to the greenhouse. And the greenhouse is pretty much really, really hot throughout most of the day. That's a project for another day. We'll have to come back to it. Now we're going inside for dinner. But before dinner, the children need to do their territories. Let's check out and see what their... Let me show you what their territories are. We decided to institute territories, the duties of territories, because we needed to spread out some of the duties around the house. A lot of the household responsibilities were falling mostly on Lacey and I, and we were carrying a lot, lion's share of it. And we, we are so dedicated in, to getting the children involved and learning how to participate in life and learning to how to do skills and tasks that they'll need to know how to do on their own when they grow up. So we decided to involve them in what we call territories. The Duggars call it jurisdiction. We call it territories. And that's basically each person is responsible for looking after a certain area in the house to make sure at the end of the day and certain uh, we usually do it one to two times a day after lunch to clean that area up and then keep an eye out look over it throughout the day and then at the end of the day clean it up again so that way mommy and daddy the parents aren't doing it all so that way you're not just totally worn out from doing everything earning a living, doing all the household chores, doing all the laundry, doing all the things outside, the children can participate as well. So, we're doing territories. What are your territories, Sailor? 
the living room and the dining room. And show everybody where the dining area is? Right here. Okay, and it is quite messy there, isn't it? Uh -huh. So Sailor's gonna work on cleaning it up and tidying that up and show everyone where the other territory of yours is. Right here. So she is responsible also for our living area. So she, there's not much to do here, but you'll take care of it. Yep. All right. And Josiah, what are your territories? Um, my cubby and the kids table. Josiah is responsible for cleaning up the kids counter here. This is where they play. This is where they sometimes eat their snacks and this is where they do some of their schoolwork and just art. And he is also in charge of his own cubby where he has his book bags, his, his, some of his toys. And he also takes care of the bathroom. Well, that is it for today. I am gonna have some dinner, try to rest up, and maybe be back to 100% tomorrow so I can give it a full go on the farm. Please, if you like this video, let us know. Also, if any of you are doing anything like territories, like jurisdictions, or whatever with your children, with your grandchildren, or maybe you've seen some other parents do it, let us know. We like to hear the comments and things that other people are doing. And please, share our videos share it on social media share it on Twitter share it on Facebook help our channel to grow we're trying to grow as YouTube creators and thank you very much for watching please give us a thumbs up when you can if you like the videos we'll see you next time <laughs>